I'm making loud ticking noises. I'm gonna unplug it. Like it got a little too hot. Pecan pie isn't really all there. One's still hot, one piece is messed up though. Tastes super amazing. But there you go, the rest of it will set and it'll be good to go for tomorrow. Now you know that the taste is gonna be good and when the texture's right, it's gonna be even better, right? Heck yeah, good for you for treating yourself. start with for first for dinner not sure yet not sure because my food didn't take only the times that I eat very true very true very true my hair doesn't want to stay in these braids because of all the layers it's driving me nuts so I got like all these wonky like pieces that are trying to come out so I don't like braid my hair when it's wet Yep, there's the menu. Bacon sausage. I think we'll maybe do the hash browns first. Boil the potatoes. We gotta take the potatoes, we gotta, we gotta peel them, and then we have to boil them, grate them. But the best part um, is going to be that we're going to use my cheese grater attachment that Funky got me for Christmas for the KitchenAid that does grating and mincing. And we're going to grate the cooked potatoes with that. Um, and that way, I don't have to spend 13 million hours grating potatoes by hand and my shoulders get a break, which is awesome. He's a legend for that. That was like the best present ever. So, so practical and thoughtful and all the things. So we're gonna be doing that. So basically we'll take our potatoes for the hash browns, we'll peel them, boil them in some salted water, and then we will put them through the grater attachment, mix them with the flour and the seasonings, shape them into hash brown patties, and cook them in oil. It's gonna be so good. The crust is 10 times better than the last one I made thanks to the recipe. You're so welcome. I love her recipe. She actually has some good stuff on her website too. Um, she actually started cooking when she got married. She was like, oh crap, like I'm on my own and I don't know how to cook. And started making recipes. And then when they had kids, it was like, she's got picky eaters. So her blog is called Picky Palette. Um, She's transitioned. Oh Yo, Chef Nikki! What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Chef Nikki, thank you for the raid. It's a foot raid. Welcome in, raiders. Thank you, Nikki, for the raid. Nikki is known by many names here. Chef Nikki, Chef Negan, Chef Nikki, Chef Nikki, Chef Nikki, Chef Neglin, and Chef Magazine. She's amazing. She's been a professional chef for over 12 years, cooked all around the world, many different types of cuisines, mom and pop shops, big restaurants. And she is now full-time on Twitch, bringing her Anthony Bourdain-style dream to you. Sleepy Mario, thank you for the follow. They're home? Good, good. They made it home. Thank you guys for coming in. Neg, how was the road trip? Let's go. Uni, Slick, Brando, welcome in. Hi, Brian and Perkins. Good to see you all. Shout out to Chef Nagin. If you're not following her, you're doing life wrong. I'm actually wearing our collab merch today from last year. Uh, with Chef Nagin and if you're not following her you need to we love her face. She's family. She's incredible Definitely be sure to drop her a follow and show her some love. How are you guys doing? Everyone who came in from the raid If you are new, my name is Kyle. Me and my other half funky are a date night in. We do dinners, drinks, desserts, and date nights at home We stream food and drink from Orlando, Florida. We are making strawberry sauce to finish the cheesecake from last night We are making a four layer cake to smash in DJ Flip's face tomorrow and we're making breakfast for dinner. Thank you, Brian. Hi, Leo, going well, how about you? Near home 11 more minutes. Let's go, for real. Heck yeah, Uni, that's awesome, that's awesome. Well, I'm glad you guys are almost there safely. <laughs> almost there safely. Scar Dragon, welcome in, I saw you right before the raid, and NMD, how's the cake? We haven't tasted it yet. But, let me show you, let me show you. So chat, yesterday we made a homemade cheesecake with cinnamon graham cracker crust, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. 
Oh my god. And then we just made this fresh strawberry sauce that's gonna get poured over. It's gonna be amazing. And then for TJ Flip's birthday cake, we made two yellow cake layers, just box cake. I was gonna make um, homemade cake and Flip Flop was like, no, 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 if you're gonna smash it over his face, do that. I was only gonna make homemade cake because it was a redemption um, that she did for tonight. And then we have two chocolate cake layers in the oven. And then we're gonna make homemade buttercream to go with it. So we're gonna do cake, jam, cake, jam, cake. Um, yeah, be four layers of cake with jam in the middle and then buttercream frosting on the outside. And then I'm gonna smash it in DJ Flip's cake uh, face tomorrow. Cake in his face. Yo, log cabin cheesecake. Exactly. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. Leo Bacardi, please stop eating my feet. I'm gonna write Chef Nagin up for the raid. Appreciate you all for coming in. Chef Nagin is also known as Nagin which is what I wrote her name as because that's how I say it. Nagin <laughs> Appreciate y'all for being here. We're gonna be making some bacon, eggs, sausage. We're gonna do a, um, we're actually gonna do bacon, sausage, and egg scramble with some veggies and um, homemade hash browns tonight. We're basically gonna make a big giant tater tot. So, you know, Rusty Rhymes' favorite. Bacardi, let go of my sock, please. We have a laser pointer to go play with. Thank you. Um, so many cakes, I know. So many cakes. Uh, Bacardi. Can you stop? Can you stop? Stop eating my feet. Thanks. She's getting so big, guys. Look. Look how big she is. She's so long. Can you stop and just chill? You're gonna eat my hair now? I mean, whatever. Breakfast for dinner is goaded. Yeah, we were asking everybody earlier. Put a Guys, Raiders who came in from Nagin, put a one in the chat if you like breakfast for dinner, a two in the chat if you don't, and then tell me what your favorite breakfast for dinner is. Are you pancakes, waffles, French toast? Are you biscuits? Are you steak and eggs? Omelet, what do you like? Hi, Jenna. All right, uni, Jenna, Perkins, all, all like breakfast for dinner, okay. I love breakfast for dinner, but when I was a kid, unless my dad was at a business dinner or traveling for work, we didn't get to have breakfast for dinner. And when he would, my sister and my mom and I, we would do like eggs or, we do eggs and bacon or sausage and then we would do fruit and like waffles or French toast or something. We did waffles a lot. Ooh, Slick likes French toast and hash browns, heck yeah. Oh my God, Brian, she's huge. French toast waffle with bacon, heck yeah, heck yeah. Um, let's see, pancakes, you need what kind? Buttermilk or add-ins? Biscuits with sausage gravy is divine, Alteron, so it's. Also, hi, how are you? Good to see you, Algie. Must be good, Bacardi, yeah. Um, waffles, listen, waffles have those ribs where you can get the butter and the syrup all in the little crevices. Um, hash browns and a big fluffy omelet. I'm with you, a fluffy omelet with crispy hash browns. Heck yeah. Bacardi, what's your favorite breakfast for dinner? Mom's feet, great, good to know. Breakfast burrito, corned beef hash, oh, corned beef hash. Listen, I used to eat corned beef hash with ketchup on it and my dad would cook it in the skillet with onion flakes black pepper, and sometimes celery salt. And then a lot of times he would crack eggs in it and make like corned beef hash and scrambled eggs and put ketchup on top, so good. Um, such a good suggestion there, Nona. Belgian waffler pancakes. Yeah. Uni is a buttermilk pancake person. I, Nagin, blah. Nagin, are you home safely yet? I hope so. Thank you for the raid, I love your face. I loaf you. Um, ooh, let's go biscuits and gravy. Uh, Log Cabin, do you do biscuits and gravy, but do you put eggs on top or no? Bartleby, hello! Chicken and waffles and fried egg? Listen, Bartleby, there's this sandwich I really want to recreate. We were watching that Netflix show that Chef Steve's food truck that he used to work at was on. Um, I think it's called Fresh Fried and Crispy on Netflix. And the guy who reviewed them also went to this place where they had a breakfast sandwich that was like fried chicken, um, an over easy egg, a waffle, and I think it had bacon on it. And it was insane. I want to do like, like a Nashville hot chicken with like bacon and egg, or maybe just like a crispy fried chicken toss in a little hot sauce with bacon and egg, and then do like a syrup infused waffle or something. I think it would be so good. Or you could do like a cornbread waffle. Uh, Perkins likes French toast for dinner, chocolate chip pancakes. Let's go. Gotta have that egg on top. You have to have that egg on top, it's like DG. And it has to be over easy so you can cut that egg and have that runny yolk. Just got home, good, good. You guys settle in. Thank you so much for the raid. I'm so glad you made it safely. Let's go. Corn beef ourselves, chop it up, cook it in the pan till crispy with potatoes. Oh, 
Homemade corned beef hash, yum. My dad used to buy the can that looks like dog food. <laughs> when you take it out of the can, if I'm honest. It's good though. Funny way to eat corned beef hash, put it on the plate, the two eggs ever easy on top, salt, pepper, ketchup, and mix it with my fork before eating. I do the exact same thing. My dad would do that, he'd put the corned beef hash, um, he'd crack the eggs over top when it was almost done and like cook them on top of the hash after he'd already like moved it around in the pan. And he would do onion flakes and, and pepper in it. And then we would put ketchup and just mix it all together. And it, I mean, it straight up looks like slop. It looks like prison food, but it's so good. Chocolate or blueberry or buttermilk waffles. Ooh, I like blueberry pancakes. I like chocolate chip waffles and peanut butter waffles, but I like blueberry pancakes for sure. I mean, Digit, come on, tell me like corned beef hash with eggs and ketchup mixed in doesn't look like prison food. I've never been to prison, but I imagine that's what the food looks like. Kyle is homesick. A little bit, a little bit. I have having good memories of that. <laughs> Runny eggs on sandwiches. Oh yes, you bite in and get that yolk. Ham, I haven't been home since last April. I haven't been home in a year. My parents came down, my mom came down last March and stayed for like five days, which was super nice. Um, and then I went up in April for my sister's graduation from her master's program. And then my parents came down in August and I haven't seen my parents since uh, the end of August. And my mom might come down this month or next month for a long weekend, but um, yeah. And I haven't seen my sister in almost a year. Um, gotten to the point to be a little healthier, I'll poach the eggs, good for you. But yeah, no, I love a runny egg. Listen, so good. Check out the restaurant in Las Vegas called Hash House A Go Go, really insane combos. They did a breakfast quesadilla and other famous items. Interesting, I'll have to see if I can maybe find like copycat recipes on them on the internet. Eating life cereal because I'm hungry with all this breakfast talk. Let's go, Perkins. Let's go. It's my philosophy that best breakfast food looks like a mess. Oh, 100%. 100%. I love, like when we would go to Waffle House, um, when we were first dating, a lot of times I would get like hash browns, eggs, and bacon and just mix it all together. And that was before they had hash brown bowls. And I think a lot of people end up doing that. And that's part of why they probably created them. Because it's so good to just mix it all together. And when I, um, when I was in college, a lot of times on like Saturday mornings when I actually got to sleep in, um, I would make like potatoes, peppers, onions with like either bacon or sausage and eggs and mix it all together and put ketchup on top. Heck yeah, All right, you're perfect. Hi Shortcake, how are you? Saddish KFC bowl. Listen, I listen to my app, I can't eat again till 2.30 p.m. Mike, don't listen to your app. Crap doesn't know anything. Chocolate cake. And chocolate cake. Lego. Oven. Off. Sage fried chicken with maple reduction over waffles and bacon. Man versus food or the Guy Fieri. Oh, Diner Dragons and Dives. The Guy Fieri one. Those both sound amazing. We're gonna let those cool for five minutes and then I'll take them out of the pan so they can cool more. Sage fried chicken. Sage is a very strong flavor, but I like sage. Um, I did a long time ago, like a Parmesan sage acorn squash. And I don't think I've cooked with sage since, honestly. I don't really ever think to get sage until it's like around Thanksgiving time, but dark and rich looking, heck yeah. They're um, the moist dark chocolate fudge from Duncan Hines. And then the moist butter yellow. Time is your thing. I like time a lot, donkey. I've been doing time a lot since I made chicken pot pie. Recently, I realized how much I like time with chicken. Bacardi, are you really like? She's a crackhead. She really is. On your proteins, heck yeah. Bacardi. She is on the floor trying to get at something that's under the pantry. <laughs> She's such a crackhead, I can't with her. Oh my God. I cannot. I cannot with her. Um, what's your favorite protein to put it on, Donkey? I only really think to ever put it on chicken. It wouldn't be bad on like a steak though. I ordered us some yeah, steak, that's what I was just thinking in my head. Um, I ordered us some ribeyes for this week and another pot roast because that pot roast was so good. I really wanna make homemade either slider buns, 